Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a career and purpose reading for the sign of Aquarius. These messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. I just ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and to click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into this reading and we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay. I have money manager. Okay, Aquarius. I understand the universal gift of money and teach others to cherish and grow their money wisely. I heard accountant. Um, some of you may be an accountant. I heard bank. You may also work in banking. I also heard audit. So you may um, work as an auditor as well. IRS. So you may work for the IRS or this is something that you desire to do. I also have power broker. I transform the world by listening to the universal desire for change within me. Okay. Yes, making moves, money moves. So yes, for some of you, you have the gift to work with money. Um, to really help people become more financially responsible. You offer a lot of financial advice. The next message is healer. The universe works through me to restore balance and wholeness in others. I just see like a stream of water in nature. Um, some of you may use holistic approaches when it comes to healing. Um, and I also heard therapeutic. Um, you may also use holistic approaches when it comes to therapy this may be something that you actually want to go into I also her health so you may also um be a health guru who likes to use um holistic measures in order to improve um people's health um especially if they suffer from certain conditions the last message is guardian I protect the world, reminding others to obey universal laws so that all may live in harmony. Guardian, okay. With this guardian, I, I got children. So some of you um, may actually be a guardian um, for a relative's child or children. Um, I heard you take in. You may have recently took someone in. And I heard demise. So a family member may have recently passed away and you've had to um, take care of their child or their children. Um, I also heard foster care. So some of you may also um, be a foster parent as well. I just feel like overall Aquarius, like your purpose is just to help bring balance into the lives of people. Whether it's through helping them manage their finances, um, helping them live a better lifestyle, um, using holistic therapeutic methods, um, whether it is you taking in children, being a foster parent, being nurturing, um, also our siblings for some of you, um, you may have had to take care of your siblings or this may be something that you're currently doing, but it's like you are being used to really help people bring balance in their life in some form so whether that's you being the sole caretaker and nurturing children who don't have a parent or whether that's you helping people in other aspects when it comes to money man money management or improving their lifestyle health wise it's like you are here to really be a nurturer be a guide your guidance you are here to offer guidance to people and i heard experience for some of you it's like spirit is saying that using your experience yes let your experience lead the way i feel like you've had to go through a lot to get 
to where you are currently Aquarius and it's like let your experience continue to guide you it's like through your experience that's how you're going to be able to make a substantial impact so let's see what's blocking you Okay. Fear of failure. I need not fear failing because my destiny is secure in the loving hands of the universe. So some of you may not feel like you're adequate enough um, or you have what it takes to become, you know, powerful when it comes to um, helping people with their finances. I heard stock market. You may want to become an investor in the stock market and you just don't feel like you have what it takes. For others of you, you may not feel you have what it takes when it comes to being a healer. I also heard Reiki. Some of you may also want to do Reiki healing. I heard crystals. Healing with crystals is like you don't feel like you have um, what it takes. And I heard know enough. You don't feel like you know enough. You feel like you're going to step out on faith and end up being disappointed. You feel like your faith may actually lead you wrong, and that's not the case. Your faith is going to lead you to higher heights and deeper depths. You just have to continue to believe in yourself and believe in your calling. Being a guardian. Feeling like you don't have what it takes to be a parent to someone else's child or children. Fear of failure. Feel like you don't have enough to give, to offer. But Spirit says love. You have love to offer. You have yourself. The giving of yourself, Aquarius. The giving of your time. That is what you have to offer to these children. So let's see what action you need to take. Okay. I have perseverance. It is time to keep trying. Even though I feel like giving up, the universe is stronger than anything that works against me. I will prevail. Yes. Fear of failure. Yes. This is the answer to that fear of perseverance, not giving up despite the setbacks, despite what you see. Despite if you feel like you're not going to make it, if you feel like you're not going to be able to make it through. It's like still pushing forward despite the challenges, still pushing forward through the storm. Anything that is working against you, Aquarius, is actually working for you. And I'm going to say that again. Anything that is working against you is actually working for you. Partnership. I trust people and the universe to support and strengthen me in everything I do. Yes. Lining up with the right people to support you. Yes. Also her family and friends. Yes. Relying on your family and friends. I heard business. For some of you, you may want to start your own business. It's like partner. Partner with the people who are going to support you. And one thing about it, even if you feel like you don't have the right people in your life, it's like spirit will put people in place. But first, you just have to get in position. Also, what I'm getting with this partnership is partnering with spirit. Yes, let spirit be your main partner. You will never go wrong, Aquarius. As long as you're trusting and following the guidance that spirit is giving you. So let's pull some tarot. 
Spirit give me a message for Money Manager? the four of pentacles and i have the magician yes it's like you are meant to help people come out of financial difficulties come out of financial challenges yes you are meant to help people manifest their dreams i heard home some of you may work in real estate you may help people get their finances in order in order to purchase a home. But it's like you help people turn their dreams into reality by becoming more financially responsible. You help people to manifest the things that they want for their life by making better choices. Let's get a message for broker. Look at what I have, Aquarius. Yes, it's all about the money. King of Pentacles, broker. I heard wise. You are very um, clever. You're just very strategic. You just know um, the right things to invest into. Yes, it's like you help people make money. And if you're not in this industry, it's like this is what you were meant to do. And I feel like for those of you who this resonates with, it's like you already are um, very good with numbers. Yes, you're very good when it comes to math. And I feel like that has always been a gift of yours, even as a child. It's like numbers, they just excite you. And it's like, yes, using your, your logic to help people invest wisely and make money become prosperous yes you are meant to help people make money to grow to build to have generational wealth let's get a message for healer i have the wheel of fortune in the reverse yes healer Again, I heard holistic. Some of you um, definitely are thinking about using more holistic approaches. Um, with this Wheel of Fortune, helping people heal from situations that did not work out in their favor. Helping people heal from disappointment. Helping people get their life back on course. That is what you are meant to do. Let's get a message for Guardian. Yeah, again, for those of you who um, are brokers, money managers, that whoever um, those messages are for, Spirit says like you just have a very um, natural gift when it comes to working with numbers. I have the two of swords and spirit says one more I have the knight of cups I feel like you are going to be helping children who are in unstable environment in unstable home environments you're going to offer them stability i heard foster care for some of you you are meant to work in foster care you are meant to be a foster parent this is something um that you may already be doing i heard classes so you may already be looking into or um taking classes but yes you are meant to bring stability into the lives of children so let's get a message for fear of failure
Five of Cups in the reverse. Yes. Changing your perspective, Aquarius. Yes. No longer looking at what didn't work out. I feel like for a lot of you, that is where that fear came from. You being focused on what you've lost instead of what you've gained. But I feel like this is going to be changing for you. This is in the reverse. I feel like this is definitely going to be changing her soon. So, yes. Your perspective, your point of view is going to change because I feel like whatever you have left to work with is going to start to prosper. It's going to start to grow. Yes, I heard abundant. You are going to be abundant. It's like whatever your purpose is, it is going to make you abundant. Financially, emotionally, spiritually abundant. Let's get a message for perseverance. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Perseverance. Not giving up. And it starts with your thoughts. Not giving up on yourself. Perseverance. Even when things become difficult. Not having the mindset that you can't do it. That you can't overcome it. That you can't overcome it. But changing your thoughts. To I can do it. I can overcome it. I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. So yes, perseverance. You moving forward. You prevailing. Begins with your thoughts, Aquarius. Begins with your belief in yourself. Let's get a message for partnership. I have seven of swords in the reverse and I have the hermit. Okay, partnership. I feel like some of you with this partnership, it's like you believe that the only person you can trust is yourself. You feel like I can only trust myself. Like I can't trust anyone else to believe in my dreams, to believe in the things that I want to accomplish. I can't trust anyone but myself. And Spirit is saying that to a certain extent, that is true Aquarius, you always want to be able to trust yourself above anyone else, you know, make yourself, um, your dreams, your goals, the main focus, you know, and not rely on other people to prop you up. It's like, no, you can prop yourself up, but at the same time. There are people who are put in place or who spirit will put in place to support you. There are people who are meant to help you along this journey. So it's like, do not be so closed off. Do not be so self-reliant that you push away your blessing. Because I heard connections. Yes, these people have connections. They are going to connect you to the right people. They are going to help you move forward into the right direction you just have to be open yes it's okay to trust it's okay to trust it's like when people give you a reason not to trust then that's when you can pull back your energy but if you don't have a reason then it's okay to let down your guard and let someone help you because this person or these people they're just helping you move closer to your purpose. So let's look at your career in finance. I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. 
And I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So let's get one more message. Okay. I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay, Taurus. I heard getting back on track. So, yes, I feel like for some of you, there is a need for you to get back on track um, when it comes to your purpose, when it comes to your career. Um, I feel I heard giving up. Some of you may have given up on a dream, on a goal. Um, I heard going back to school. Some of you may have even given up on school, you know, or going back to school to accomplish um, what you desire. And it's like getting back on track. Like you just need to get back on track. It's like you took a detour, Aquarius, and now it's time for you to head in the right direction so that you can accomplish the things that you desire for your life. Yeah, so that you can fulfill your destiny. Because I feel like you're not happy. You're not fulfilled. And I feel like whatever it is that you have been investing in, it's like... I heard depleted. You may feel depleted or you may feel like you've been giving so much to this one area that you're not really seeing the growth that you want. It's like you're realizing that there's no other options for you available in this career or at the company you're working for. And I heard more. It's like you want more. But it's going to require you to get back on track. It's going to require you to really tap into your divinity. To listen to spirit. Even when you don't understand it, Aquarius. Trust spirit. Let spirit guide you. Pay attention to the signs. Pay, att pay attention to the synchronicities. Spirit is on your side. You just have to trust. So let's get one final message. And I feel like for some of you, like the reason why you're not happy and you're not fulfilled, it's like <laughs> spirit is kind of creating a situation around you to push you into the direction that you need to take. So I do feel like you are going to get where you need to be. So that's why you may not be happy. You may feel like things aren't working out the way that you want them to. I heard like storm for some of you, you may be going through a very difficult season and it's because... Spirit wants you to get back on track, to move towards your purpose, because where you are currently is not where you're meant to be, nor not where you're meant to stay. So yes, even if you were meant to be there, it was just only for a season, Aquarius. You were not meant to stay. You were meant to learn as much as you needed to learn and to grow and move on to the next phase of your life but it's like some of you got stuck so spirit is trying to help you become unstuck because spirit has greater for you the last message is when i connect to the spiritual realm i open the door to receive divine guidance clear direction and great wisdom yes your message connecting to spirit Connecting to source, being open. That is how you're going to get the answers that you need. Yes, yeah, spirit wants to guide you. Spirit wants to lead you, but you have to be open to it. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.